Okay everybody, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to briefly step through how you can automate a Windows Server upgrade utilizing Amazon Systems Manager. So there's a couple of learning outcomes for this super quick video. First and foremost, we're going to review the requirements for automated Windows upgrades to ensure they're a success when you do it via Systems Manager or SSM. We're going to learn how and where to run the automation documents against your EC2 instances. You won't be surprised, of course, to hear that that is in the SSM console. Uh, we'll just touch briefly on the prerequisites to ensure that this is a success. First and foremost, it should be an existing EC2 instance that you are trying to upgrade. Um, we need to ensure that SSM is installed and working on that existing instance. Uh, the existing instance itself must be able to support TLS 1.2. Uh, it must have a minimum of 20 gigabytes of free disk space on the system or the root volume. Uh, it should also be available in a public subnet and be able to get a public IP address during the process. Finally, if this is a non-domain join instance, be sure to take note of the local username and password of the machine so you can log into it at a later point. Let's begin. Having a look at the documentation, there's a few things that are worth pointing out and making note of initially. First and foremost, it is recommended performing an operating system upgrade on instances with at least two vCPUs or four gig of RAM. So effectively a, a T3 medium instance or, or greater. Um, and you'll note if we're upgrading from Windows Server 2008 R2, it will actually do that twice because it will go from 2008 R2 to an intermediary instance, for example, 2012, and then from 2012 to 2016, 2019, or 2022. The prerequisites for this to be a success is that the instance that you're upgrading from must support TLS version 1.2. Um, and there's a script that will be provided as part of this video so that you can confirm that that will work. Um, obviously, SSM agent must be installed in the existing instance and must be running. Um, you can upgrade an instance that is already joined to a domain, um, but ideally you would specify a subnet that does not have connectivity to an existing domain controller to help avoid hostname conflicts. Um, the subnet must be a public subnet with the order of assigned public IP address set to true. And you need at least 20 gigabytes of free disk space. It also needs an IAM role so that it can talk to SSM, so that SSM has the permissions to run the automations on these instances. And finally, it's worth noting that you can upgrade when you are using an instance that doesn't have an AWS provided Windows license. And there's some additional steps that you can run here. What we're going to look at now is if we click on run this automation, it will bring up an execute automation document that looks something like this. I'm going to select an existing Windows 2012 instance here. And I'm going to provide it some details. I'm going to provide it the IAM instance profile, the subnet idea of where I want it to boot up the temporary instance, and what and the target version of Windows that I want it to upgrade to. In this instance, I'm going to select Windows Server 2022. I'm not going to change any of these other details here. I'm happy with these defaults. I'm just going to go ahead and click Execute. Once this process is completed, in approximately one to two hours, I will have an AMI in my account of this machine ready to go, and I could test that at my leisure. Uh, I'll pause the video while we wait for this upgrade to complete. You'll note at this point that the automation now has completed successfully, and we can go to EC2, and under AMIs, we have an AMI that has been created specifically as part of this process, and I can select this Amazon machine image and launch an instance from this Amy. I'm going to just change the instance size to T3 medium. I'm going to just select the option of proceeding without a key pair because that's already been built in. And I'm just going to change this to my IP address, create a new security group and leave all the other defaults and launch instance. I'll pause the video while we wait for this instance to deploy. The new instance we can see has now been successfully deployed. I'm simply going to RDP directly to this box. But I'm just going to download a remote desktop file. And this is why the understanding or knowing a local username and password on this device is important. Uh, if you've forgotten it, then you potentially lock yourself out of the image. There are ways to reset that, however. 
I'm going to log into the instance with the administrator, the local administrator username and password. Here is my desktop. You can see it's still got some stuff from my previous login. And if we go to WinVer, we can now see this is Windows Server 2022. So if, as you've seen in the last video or series of steps that we've gone through today, we've reviewed the requirements for automated Windows upgrades via SSM. And you've seen where you can go and run that automation document against your existing EC2 instances. I hope this video has been helpful for you and I'll, I'll see you in the next series of videos. Thank you.